Hey guys, so in this tutorial, we're going to go over how to create uh, an accurate size template uh, once that you have an unrolled uh, poly surface. And so in order to do that, you should already have an unrolled uh, surface of your complex enclosed poly uh, surface object done. If you don't have this uh, part already, go ahead and that you watch the tutorial for this portion before you watch this one. So at this point, you know, like I said, you've unrolled uh, your object. You have it as a flat um, set of surfaces that are all on the X, Y plane. And now we need to talk about how to create um, a template based off of this information. And it's a rather simple process, but uh, it's important that we remember to look at this from the correct viewport in order to create a template that is proportionately correct. And that's because right now, as you guys can tell, we've been sort of looking at this thing in perspective. And if you imagine at, at every one of these different angles that I look at this, right, uh, is a different, if I were to just print this, it's a different proportion uh, of all these triangles based off of my viewpoint, right? Um, but if you think about our lecture from before, um, there is a viewpoint that provides us with an actual and accurate true representation of what the size, the actual size of each one of these uh, surfaces is. And that is the view that is looking perpendicularly towards these objects, right? And so if we think about that, that's really actually the top view, right? So the plan view of this, uh, the plan view of the X, Y plane is what provides a, a proportionately correct view of all of these surfaces because all of these surfaces are now on the X, Y uh, plane, right? And so uh, in order to create a template, we need to be in the top view. And once we're in the top view, we are now looking at uh, the correct uh, view of this, but we can actually, because we can zoom in and out of it, we don't quite have the correct scale yet. And in order to do that, there's actually a couple of steps and we need to uh, move this out of Rhino is actually the easiest way to do that. Um, and so that's the steps that I'm going to show you now. And so um, conceptually, though, we should always understand that in order to see the proportionally correct view of an object that lies on a plane is to look at that plane from a perpendicular standpoint, right? And so once I have that, now I can go ahead, grab all of these surfaces. And the first thing that I'm going to do actually is uh, create line work out of them. Um, and then I'm going to use that line work and bring it into Illustrator, which is a program that understands line work very well. In order to do that, I'm going to type make 2D and click, uh, once this panel comes on, just click OK. And you'll see that the line work of that will appear somewhere. You might have to go look for it. And uh, that line work, I can actually move it and match it here just to double check that you can see it fits exactly right. Uh, to the surfaces that we made. And now that we have this line work, this is what we're actually going to export into Illustrator. So I'm going to type uh, the command export uh, and it's going to bring up this uh, panel, the save panel. I'm going to select the save type as an AutoCAD drawing file. It's a .dwg. Um, you can uh, search through all of these and you find it here, AutoCAD drawing .dwg. Uh, name it exercise one drawing template. Uh, and I'm just gonna save it in this case to my desktop, click save. You're gonna get uh, an export panels option. Go ahead and switch it to R12. You're probably gonna be in default the first time. Go to R12, click okay. And so now we've exported this line work. And if you guys remember at the very beginning of when we uh, start talking about Rhino, we talked that Rhino, you can, uh, you model in a certain specific unit type. And so, you know, I always, before I uh, 
uh, I move forward, I just want to double check, you know, I was modeling my object in inches. Uh, and so I click OK. So now I know that the model space that I was in was in inches. So now when I go to Illustrator and I open, I'm going to make sure that I also open Illustrator in inches. And that will allow me to pair the size of the model to uh, the exact size uh, of, the, of the drawing file. So as Illustrator opens, uh, we can just give it a second and, uh, and then we'll go ahead and continue. Okay, so now that we have Illustrator open, we can um, go ahead and open a file. And we're just gonna open our, uh, from our desktop, our template that we made. We're gonna click open and you're gonna see that we're gonna get a panel that looks like this and it's gonna ask us what scale to bring the object in. And so we're gonna keep this where it says original size or click on original size. And the scale is going to be one to one in inches. So that's very important because we were modeling in inches and we're gonna keep it in inches. Uh, if you modeled in centimeters, you'll want to change that to centimeters and make sure that it's one to one. Click okay. And it'll open, it'll take just a second to load. It's taking a little bit longer just because we have uh, so many programs running and filming at the same time. But you see it has brought the line work in. Um, in this case, my line work is bigger than my sheet size, but that's uh, in this case because my sheet size is too small. So in Illustrator, I will go to File, Document Setup, and in uh, Document Setup, I will click Edit Artboards. And then up here, where it says W and H, uh, I'm going to make it uh, an 11 by 17, uh, which is a tabloid size piece of paper, which um, most people can print off of. You guys might not have this uh, exact size, so you might just do eight and a half by 11, which is regular printer size. Um, and now you can see it fits essentially perfectly onto an 11 by 17. And now I would be ready to print this, cut it out, and fold along all these seams and uh, create my object at exact one-to-one -one scale. So that would be the process from which we take it, we create a template, that template we make sure that it's at the proper scale, now we can print it, and now our physical uh, paper copy is going to be identical to the model that we made in Rhino. So I hope that helps guys. Um, there, there's gonna be a troubleshooting uh, tutorial just uh, after after this one. So if you're having some problems, go ahead and make sure that you watch that one. I'll try and cover some uh, potential pitfalls. But otherwise, hopefully you get to this point, you can print this out and you can uh, tape it and make your second paper model.